let the adventure begin. How are we doing, Fox fans? What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? No, you don't. You're the leader of the rebellion. They captured you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? Just ignore him, Shannon. Just ignore him. It's the best way. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Shannon. When they pay the bills, they have a little bit of extra influence, don't they? Look at me. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Well, I reckon this would be a pretty nice village if it wasn't uh, for the special circumstances. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries in his tea. Funny. When I was a boy, the imperial walls and towers used to make me feel nice. Yeah. Hi, Ridder. Why do you think? End of the line. Um, yeah, I can turn it up a little bit. Hopefully it won't crash on me again. That would be an absolute disaster. And thanks for joining, Ridder. The gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, Thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. Is the volume this a little bit better? Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. This does not look good. It has been an honor. Jarl Ulfric. Does not look good. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. And you can't do this. Yeah, can do. Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else? Is this a bit better? Wait. I didn't want to drown out the game, you see. Step four. Who are you? Ambient rain? No, I mean there might be a little bit of white noise, Shannon, you know, it just picks up a bit of room sound, it definitely could be that. Thanks, Rida, thanks. Just let me know if there's anything that you, uh, if you think could be improved. So yeah, now we need to decide who we are. And can you imagine, I think I've seen like some, some jokes about this to be fair, but like, can you imagine what that poor <laughs> imperial soldier must be seeing right now with these shape-shifting faces? 
So every, for those of you that are not familiar with Skyrim or uh, Elder Scrolls games in general, there are a number of races. Um, and as I've been an unofficial Lord of the Rings narrator uh, over on YouTube, you can obviously see where Elder Scrolls and many, many other games and fantasy have got their influences from. So we've very much got Tolkien's elves, orcs, and others. Um, but there's a there's a mix of all sorts of of influences in here as well. Um, so Miranda over on Discord, she was saying that under no circumstances should I play as one of the Khajiit, um, which. If I remember rightly, I've not played this game since 2014. Um, never actually finished it, so this is this is good fun for me. Um, and I'm obviously going to be absolutely terrible at it as well, but you know, never mind. Um, but if I remember rightly, these Khajiit guys, they've got a pretty funky accent. Um, and the elves, I was not thinking about this at all all but you know you never know there's subliminal stuff in there but the elves in my reading of the lord of the rings over on youtube um i gave them this sort of slavic influenced accent it was a it was a bit of a mishmash of things um but someone was mentioning that it actually reminded me it reminded them of the khajiit from uh skyrim you see so I feel like that would, it's like doubly fun if I'm one of these guys. Um, and, you know, as I'm Red Fox voice and all that jam, I guess it's the closest I can get, isn't it? <laughs> let's, be, let's be fair, there's nothing even remotely close uh, apart from these guys. Um, so it's going to make it look like I've got a, a furry infatuation, which I really don't. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, intelligent, sure, quick and agile, um, thieves and um, yeah, improved night vision, unarmed claw attacks, honestly, are not going to be particularly useful, I don't think. But um, these lizard chaps, they've got resistance to disease, they can breathe underwater, and they can regenerate health fast. I mean, that's pretty badass. Um, the Bretons that look a little bit like Russell Crowe from Gladiator, I think, but on a bad day. Um, spellcraft. Resistance to magic. Um, yeah. Call upon the dragon skin. Um, you've got Dark Elves. Also known as Dunma. Stealth and magic. Resistant to fire. And they've got Ancestor's Wrath. Um, and then the High Elves. They've got a hell of a jawline. Um, arcane Arts. Regenerate magicka quickly. Like your mana or whatever. Imperial. Uh, this sort of... Roman look, uh, combat, magic, <laughs> uh, a lust for gold. Um, so we've got Kaji, we've been there. Nord, you know, it feels like if I'm if I'm going for the closest thing to my ancestry, these would be the chaps. What have I said, Shannon? What have I said now? Um, so yeah, battle cry, pretty cool. This whole Viking sort of Nordic thing going on. Um, almost feels weird now if I don't play as Nords, even though I've just been saying I should be Khajiit. Then we've got the Orcs, um, with uh, some impressive dental work, uh, craftsmanship, heavy armor. Um, yeah, just just pretty. Um, Pretty pretty hardcore. Red guards. What do we got? What do we got? 
resistance to poison. Um, yeah, some com combat traits. Um, and then these beautiful looking creatures. Um, yeah, it's not quite, it's not quite uh, Orlando Bloom, is it? Um, scouts, thieves, archers, and resistance to poison and disease. Um, and it can even get animals involved. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, and I'm thinking, like, Red Fox Voice. They've got affiliation with animals. I didn't realize that, actually. Um, so it's like... Nord, you know, I'm a I'm a Brit, but I live in Sweden. Um, and me and this chap, you know, we've we've got some similarities. Um, Kajit, specifically because Miranda just didn't want me to be the cat people, because she doesn't like cats. I absolutely love cats. <laughs> um, oh, hey there, Claire. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How you doing? So I think it's between for me it's between Kajit, um, Nord, and Wood Elf. Are we going cat peeps? I'm quite looking forward. In fact, you never hear yourself, do you? I don't think. I'll have to just I'll have to do the voice. I'll have to do the voice of the cat guy. I can I can bring my my best, Sylvan Wood Elf. <laughs> Let's be a cat. Yeah, alright. Fair play. Fair play. Sorry, Miranda. Let's party. You've only got two genders. There's nothing in the middle. Um, I'm going to keep... Ooh. This is... They've got some f funky looks, haven't they? I've never tried these dudes. I've So, back in 2014... I think I might have had a little dabble on Skyrim on Xbox 360 before that, but 2014, I downloaded this off Steam, and I didn't finish it, but I started one story as the Nords, and one story as the Orcs, um, so yeah, most of the races I've never even touched, so I've not seen these presets, that's, that's pretty cool actually. Alright, but let's just start with this dude. Hmm. I want something that's quite kind, but you still, you know, you won't mess with them down a dark alley. Quite cool. Quite cool. I, th I mean, this dude looks kind, but it looks like your your uncle, like your your friendly uncle that comes round for Sunday lunch. Um, I'm leaning towards this dude, though, because you can change the fur colour, yes. Um, huh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, tiger print. Yeah, they all look cool, don't they? Honestly, like, this is, um, wait, this is harder than I thought. Um, so I was messing around with this guy, but this guy's quite cool, so absolutely no nonsense. I like that. Um, yeah, they all look good. What's the skin tone options here? Oh, I could I could mess about with this all day. Um, all right, let's go again. Hmm. I was wanting a like a red fox sort of look, obviously. I don't know if it's the best though. So I'll go with that. Ooh. Hench. Should we go Should we go for the beefcake? Go for the beefcake look. Okay. Dirt, dirty, dirty or not dirty? Um, all right, not dirty. So that's not gonna make a difference. Scars. Ooh. 
Some battle damage would... I can definitely live with something across the eye. I'm thinking, um... Yeah, I think a middle middle slim. Um But as they're like an agile fast one, I just think it makes it even more intimidating if they're um like pretty massive at the same time. But yeah, if anybody's seen the wire, I was thinking of sort of like a an Omar look with a with an ice go. That's quite cool. There was just a simple one back there. Oh look at this. Oof. Three to the face, left by his mother for not doing the dishes. But just one, one under the no. I, I do quite like the three, the three on the cheek. War paint. Oh, it describes. Okay. Oh, that's cool, right? So the stripes are the war paint. Speckly stripe. Just the full-on stripe. Center stripe. Eye patch. Ooh, that's that. Oh, you wouldn't mess with that chap, would you? No, sir. He'd have your lunch money. Okay, but this is going to give it a bit more of the foxy. Yeah, we've got. Okay, okay. We'll have a longer nose then. Oh, but let me check this now. Wasn't really. Th no, but it's not going to get. Uh, not protruding, but point more pointy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hey there, Alistair. We're just we're just building a Catman at the moment on Oblivion. Okay, eyes. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying the eyes at the moment. Mm. No, I'm gonna leave the eyes. That was what drew me to this preset in the in the first place. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Eye height. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna stay loyal to the eyes. Um, yeah, I don't mind a bit of fluff at the back here. I don't know if I want to go too crazy. Oh, there's braids. Oh, uh, yeah, gosh. Absolutely rocking it. Shall I stick with the original fluff that I've got going? Just a bit of something. How do we braid this up? I could definitely do that. Definitely live with that. Facial hair. Uh, there's plenty of facial hair, isn't there? Uh, but yeah, this is to like to throw the tushes in. But I, I liked it. I think I think he's furry enough as he is. Hair color. Black. Yeah. All right. All right. There he is. He needs a name. What do we call this chappy? Have we got any ideas? Fox fans. What do we call this this renegade? This new legend of Skyrim. Um hmm. I can only just think of silly things at the moment. Uh, and I think their names are normally quite unusual. But, um, Archibald the Great, I think, springs to mind. I'm just going to pencil that in, if it fits. Have we got any name suggestions? Aldwin. Aldwin's quite nice, actually. Um... You're sort of going down the same theme that I've thought of, Claire. Have we got any any other name suggestions apart from Aldwin or Archibald? Archie, not so bold. Yeah, I, I like Aldwin as well. I thought Archibald was a solid start, though. Oh, the old Aldi win. Dreidar. Yeah, it's it's something, Shannon. It's something. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, is that what it? Oh, is that from? Is that Elvish? That's that's actually pretty good, Shannon. That's actually pretty good. He's not an elf though. Uh, but that that's a that's a good bit of thinking actually. All right, but let's go Aldiwin. 
Holy wind, the great. All right. You with one of the trade caravans? Back to biz. Kind always seems to find trouble. Back to biz. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. So we you spend sure twenty-five minutes place. making your character, and then they just go and hang him anyway. Or chop his head off. Sorry, my apologies. What a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time. <sighs> oh, Frick Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Hmm. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you What's rude, Claire, that they're, the that they're going to kill him anyway? Even though he's not on the list. Oh. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Just the wind. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Kalos, shut up and let's get this over. Uh, As you wish. I won't be so hasty. Come on. I but, have um, your head. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You Imperial bastard. Oh, they they only went and did it. Death to the storm cloaks. As fearless as that. Oh, damn me. As he was in life. No. That's irreversible. There it is again. Did you hear that? I did. I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Oh, I had to be next in line, didn't I? Okay, if you're gonna reconsider, now is the time. Oh, there's a head in the basket. Impressive accuracy that I've gotta say. I'd, uh, I'd check yourself before you wreck yourself. On your six. Dragon on your six. Ooh. Okay, I think we need to scarf her. Come on, lad. Sort yourself out. Sort yourself out. Come on, come on lad, show me the way. I honestly don't remember anything of this story mode, so we are learning as we go. It looks like it, huh? Oof, they got messed up. Yeah, go on then, roll off. Yeah, go on, lead the way. Either way. Alright. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Are we, are we still going that way then? Ah, oh, don't you worry, Claire. We'll figure it out. Ooh, are you sure? Smashed it. Is he? Are you coming? No. You leaving it to me then? What's the plan? What's the plan? Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to you. Want to stay that way. Will do. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide to heaven. All right. We can take the dragon, right? I've got my cat close. Oh, goodness me. You've literally got a wing on your head. 
Yeah, I, d I was definitely detected. Go on, mages, you sort them out. You've got it. I'm impressed with this bravery. to the dragon. Looks like we're the only ones to make it. Was that really a dragon? We're bring us to the end times. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah. Let's do it. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these worms. All right, what we got? You better get some armor. Light armor. Uh, I guess take all of this you at this time. Your left sword and your swings too. Um. Okay. So yeah, this is this is all like it feels like I'm playing it for the first time, honestly. Um. Cool. So you can't wear that at the same time, right? No. All right. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. Let's party. Go on, pull your little chair. Yeah, we are ready. Ready for anything. Their spring key. I'm not sure. I'm sure they'll they'll let you know. Hear that? Storm clouds. Maybe we can reason with them. You won't take us alive. You want to die. Whoa, wow. Straight in. Oh. Straight into it. Oh, that was a I'm gonna get beaten up. Oh, he's gone down easy. Let me see if I can get that door open. What we got? I don't know if there's any value in taking these sorts of things at the moment, but I guess you can always sell them off, can't you? Um, I guess I'll just take it all for now. I don't know if it's if it's worth doing that, but I just feel like it's stuff to sell. Let's go. Oh dear. Poor lad. Poor lad. Take him before his time. All right. Let us go. What is the point, though, seriously, of fighting each other when there's a dragon around? Team up. Let's go, Hadvar. Exactly. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. No, I'm way down here fighting with the silly men. Look how casual he is. but wine always comes in handy. What's this? More wine. No, 
not going to say now. A bit more potion. Warbler essence. All right, lead the way, Chuck. This way. Hope I've not missed anything of value. More torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need these. More troublemakers by the sounds of it. Flanking. Oh, I didn't stand a chance. Even get fatality. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their girls. Alright, well you hang around here and we'll We'll see you later. I guess there's no point taking all their armor and all that kind of stuff. Um, what's um, what's my actual weapon stats? Don't know if there's a quick way of doing that, but um, damage eight. Okay. Um, and what was he? Damage ten. Um, because this is a two, two-handed one, isn't it? Uh, but to be f yeah, no, it's going to be a lot slower. Um, all right, so iron mace. Um, I do have a shield. I'm not wearing gauntlets. I have got shoes. Um, can I scroll a bit? Oh, that's okay. Um, 23, 25. Alright, we'll go. Cool. I did hear some odd noises coming from over here. Oh, here we go. Come with us. I need to get out of here. Yo, yo, yo. You have no authority over me. How are you doing, noob? From one noob to another. Ah, we get a bit of story time as well. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Emmeline Madrine, Order of Talos, Wainan Prior. Year 360 of the Third Era, 21st of the reign of His Majesty Pelagius IV. We're not going to read all this, are we? Be here all day. I wonder if anybody actually does read all these. I wonder if they're well written. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in this book I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the Covenant of Arkatosh, when the Blessed Saint Alessia was given the Amulet of Kings and the dragonfires in the Temple of the One were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alessia with this blood of dragons, and made a covenant that so long as Alessia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavour to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and the undead to their enemies. The Daedra-loving eyelids. Those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the Dragonblood were able to wear the Amulet of Kings and light the Dragonfires. All the legitimate rulers of the Empire have been Dragonborn. The Emperors and Empresses of the First Cryodilic Empire founded by Alessia, Remen, Kyradil and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septim and his heirs, down to our current Emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim IV. Pelagius. Because of this connection with the Emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the Blessed Talos, who was Tiber Septim. 
very few realise that being dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragonfires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn, and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh descending upon them? All that we can say is that it is both and neither. A divine mystery. Okay, I will stop there. But it's quite impressive that um, Wait a second. that they include all those things. Oh, some lockpick, minor healing. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. People have been obscuring it for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. We'll need everything we can get. Oh, no Two, worries. Take all my things, please. Grab what? what you can. This one. Let's go. This one. All right. Let's let's do it. I do not remember how you do this. Use mouse to rotate. Then W to rotate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's a doddle. Uh, ah yeah, I'm, ah yeah. Here we go. Honestly, I can't remember how this works. Oh, <laughs> defeated at the first one. Pro gaming. There you go. <clears throat> what we got? Poor mage. Um, I'm not gonna mess around. Oh, but it's very valuable, though, and weighs absolutely nothing, so... Definitely will take it. I'm sorry, lad. Sorry to leave you in such a mess. Do we bother breaking into that? I mean, I guess it gives you a little bit of XP, but... Should we do it just for fun? Um, is it A and D? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Uh, so yeah, we'll just we'll just say we're just practicing, leveling up, grinding. All right, move on. There's no way out that way. Lead the way, Adva. What's up, man? Yeah. What are you two up to in the chat? Go on, lead Glad the way. Out of that place. I hope this leads somewhere. What a mess. What a mess. Search skeleton. What have you got on you? Bit of bone meal. Some bad times. Come on, Adva. Where in Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Alright, let's do it. You've got this, right? Oh, I'll squeeze in as well. In the back. It's not noble, but it is effective. Uh, it does pretty good damage, though. Oh, I didn't mean to take those. Never mind. Ooh, archers. Very cheeky. Soaking him up like a sponge. Oof, brutal. 
Brutal finisher. All right. Let's see if we can find a way out. I won't mind a bow though, just for just for thumbs. I keep right clicking. It takes it picks the phone. Um, arrows. Already got a long bow, good times. Looks like the way let's see what this goes. Yeah, let's move. Let's see what this does, eh? Yep, very handy. I wanna test that bow out. Definitely sounds like a dinosaur. I'm guessing that's the dragon. Um There must be a quicker way to get you to get your stuff out, right? Um Q to open favourites menu. That's pretty handy. Um and does that automatically equip the shield? Not sure, so I will favorite it. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. Okay. Let's try. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find it. Yeah, I'm pushing way. on, I'm pushing on, lad. I'm guessing it's down there, but I'm just checking this out. Mm -hmm. Profitable. We go. It must be pretty uncomfortable walking down there. Uh, that doesn't go what this? Try this way. Which way are you talking about? Oh, he's made up his mind. Oh, spiders! Imagine Ron Weasley's face. Did that kill it in one hit? Never. Wow. Got Legolas here. Ah. Three shots, three kills. That's all she wrote. Uh, you can pick up your arrow again. Yeah, that's cool. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, Shelob. Took it on the chin. Any more? Are we out? How do you let go? Uh, how do you retract? There must be a way. Oh. Okay, there must be a better way. That's right. Um, arrows back. Thank you very much. That was empty. Um, yep. Yep. Why not? Have some of that. Ah, oh, so you're not guaranteed to get your arrow back, perhaps? Not sure. Not sure. Alright, let's follow on. Where are you? This looks like the way. Hmm. Lovely place for a picnic. Oh, uh, yeah, killing. We've. We, not just killing spiders, but actually picking them off. Three shots, three kills with my longbow. Not a bad first effort with the bow. A little mead. Oh, we're going to do some stuff. Let's do it. How about I just pickpocket you? What? This way? Okay, I'm a master of stealth. We know that. 
Oh. Okay. I I <laughs> was I supposed to go around the back? I really am not sure. I didn't I didn't put my heart into that. Give me my bow. Sorry, Chuck. No, sneaking, sneaking's my middle name. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, I feel sorry for that lad. Didn't stand a chance. Cave belt. Yes, yes, that's what we're talking about. Cheers, Claire. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't really commit to the sneaking. I wonder if there's a quicker way of doing that. Okay. I feel like mouse scroll would be quite a nice, quick and easy way of changing weapons, but that's the thing, I guess I could um, uh, add shortcuts or whatever. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. I think we're ready for the dragon, to be honest. I feel pretty warmed up. Wait. I'm joking, dragon. If you... If you're listening, I'm not at all ready. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Certainly not, old boy. The closest town from Harry's River would be. Oh. My uncle's a blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Oh, look at him just best leisurely walking down here. Good luck. He's enjoying himself. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. To be fair, I think you were the MVP, Hadvar. Look at the little butterfly, isn't that nice? There's a lot of mods this for this game. Black arrows, that'd be nice, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of graphic mods and all sorts of things, so, um, you know, I mean, this was a decent looking game when it came out, um, but graphics whenever it's primary focus, you know, it's such an enormous world, um, but some of the mods that you can get, people have done a fantastic job of, um, improving the textures and all sorts of stuff, like even extra weather effects and things, um, but I've just got the the standard <coughs> setup. I do have one mod, um, which is just like a bug fix. Oh, see that ruin up there, Bleak Falls Barrow. He didn't even he didn't even blink at that stag that nearly run us over. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night, that kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. But, look, I mean, for a game that's, what, is it eight years old? Something? Is it older than that, maybe? It could even be nine, ten years old. I mean, it's, you know, and this is with no modifications, like I said. It's not a bad-looking game for such an enormous, such an enormous world as well. Shall we do it? Oh, so you have to... Sorry, I talked over him there. I feel terribly rude. But you have to choose your path. So, warrior, uh, mage, or thief. Um, and technically, I guess I should go for thief. Because um, the cat guys um, have got, like, you know, improved sneak ability and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know what the other... You know, I don't honestly know how. I feel better once we're under cover in Riverwood. Uh, how these stones affect your gameplay? Let's of just see what Hadvar's got to say first. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. A noble chap. No, not yet. After all, a dragon, something out of old tales and legends. No one could have expected that. But you can bet he'll be trying to figure it out. 
This could shift the whole balance of the war. If you want to help stop that dragon, your best bet is to go to Solitude and join up with the Legion. I hope so. The Legion is Skyrim's only hope right now. Come on, we better get moving. Oh, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting to read my parts because you know my character doesn't speak. I hope that dragon is still flying around here somewhere. I thought dragons were all dead long ago. So did I. If the damn stormcloak somehow found one or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence. But the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Who were those other prisoners? You didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. He's a traitor of some kind. Right. The leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. And who are the Stormcloaks? You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. I bet it did. So, how do I join the Imperial Legion? So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one... Ah, I pressed the up, wrong one. It is not a problem. To take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence. But the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. So... <laughs> how do I join the Imperial Legion? So did I. The damn stormcloak somehow found one. They wait. Up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Should we try this again? General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower, in the city of Solitude, northwest of here. You'll want to talk to Legate Ricker. She deals with the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you if I get back to Solitude first. Thank you at last, Hadma. We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now. So, Shannon was saying, um, perhaps we should go for mage. You're saying that Aldiwin has got a has got a, got a magic ring to it. Um, like I said, I think thief is probably like most in line with my character. But to be fair, like with how I often game, I just like get stuck in. So like warrior sort of feels like my cup of tea. I'm I'm never really into the magic stuff, but sneaky stuff and like archery and things like that, I I can definitely get into that. Once I get a hang of the controls and everything. Um has anybody else got a feel on, on which pathway to take here? So which stone to choose? Um so we've got thief we got magic, or mage, and we've got warrior. Any thoughts whilst I soak up the scenery? Hadva, please be patient. I am simply choosing which stone, which path to take. I am consulting my oracles. It is my choice, Shannon, but I would like to know how you feel about such a grand decision. Ritter says sneaking is really good. I think I will go for the thief. Oh, so it says... Um, so stealth improve. This is obviously like magic improve. Um, and what combat? Yeah. So all right. The way of the thief. We will accept. 
Oh. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. You get a little constellation as well. Very nice. Okay. The path of the sneak. Yeah. So oh, thank you, Claire, as well. Thank you. We are ready to proceed, Hadra. Lead the way. It is a glorious country. Hadra? Please. Make haste. Not a problem, Hedva, not a problem. Look at the salmon. That's a nice touch. I'm gonna run ahead. This way, Hedva. I bound effortlessly over such terrain. Oh! Goodness. Wow, he is impressive. That wolf owned. Oh dear, what a waste of life. Come on then, Hadva. Merciless. Hmm, is that the stag again? Excellent, Hadver, come on. <laughs> Legolas speaks a little bit softer, but uh, this guy's pretty well built, so I'm going for a deeper voice here. Um, this is like the regular difficulty, uh, Ridder. Um, I don't know what they call it, um, but it's like the, the default medium, like adept or something like that. I can't remember what they call it. So. This looks like a pretty chill spot. Work in that leather. Work in that hide. Burp, burp, burp. Who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Good day, I'll good day. But we need to go inside. Good afternoon. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat. And you can tell me all about it. <laughs> my dragon! I'm not a dragon! What? What's it now, mother? It was as big as a mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now? Teleporting. Let's join him. Secret. They've come to me. Hmm. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Good oh, afternoon. You must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here, looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' goal. We were stopped in Helgen, when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. 
Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad Thank to help you. However I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Mm. So they're giving... They're giving me something. Wow. Um, well, I, I will obviously take the garnet. Is this, is this like part of my character? What is going on here? The Jarl needs to know there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. Like Did I just lose an opportunity to, to any way I can. take help a free gift there? It just felt need. strange to be like, oh, we need your help, please. Is that what he's saying? Take gift. All right. Um, uh, wait a second. So I can just take that and sell it on. Is there something better? I mean, I'm sorry, but... Well, I can take all of it. Um, okay. Do I want these vegetables? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, that's very kind, Alva. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How do I get the white run from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. And what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf. He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Ellis as much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You'll support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I'd support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair weather friends. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. And can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if hmm. you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Hmm. What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Dalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Dalos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. 
And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Very well, Elvor. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, Jaka. Don't pester your cousin. <laughs> May I get up? Hmm. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. <laughs> you are too kind, Alva. You are too kind. May the gods watch over your battle, friend. Is it useful to have a dagger as Whatever well? You need. I can forge it. I'll take one just in case. A Gentleman's Guide to Whiterun by Mikkel the Bard. <laughs> Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide, will describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the Jewel of the North. Whiterun offers numerous diversions for the man in search of adventure, fortune and companionship, whether for a night or for a lifetime. The city is graced with not one, but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and wenches aplenty. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well, for it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon a rocky hill, Whiterun dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High stone walls protect its denizens from the wolves, mammoths, bandits, and other dangers lurking beyond. When you first enter through the city's main gate, you will find yourself in the Plains District. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city's three neighborhoods. Ah, but here can be found the Bannered Mare, which I count among the finest taverns in all Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling if you have an eye for the fairer sex. A stout lass named Holder tends the bar. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed of that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. Sadia, the barmaid, is an exotic red guard beauty. She's quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. <laughs> A controversial right in this. Keep it clean and appropriate, Glenn. You looking for a new blade? All right, nothing in the wardrobe. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that. Wait. So why is that red? Is that like you're taking too much? You're stealing, basically. So when he said, "within reason," yeah. So red is steel. Um, use cooking pot. Restores health of a temporary effects. Um, so requires. Salt bar. I've actually got anything that I could make just for fun. Probably not. There's a lot of recipes. But no, I don't think I will have enough of anything. Hmm, sure, Glenn. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Shannon. Yeah, exactly. 
but I'm going to need plenty more ingredients before I can actually start knocking something together. They're doing quite well for themselves, aren't they? These, these two. Got some posh cheese, bit of salmon. Hunting bow, that would be nice. Can I, I can take the arrows though. I'm not going to steal his beautiful bow. Hello. Make yourself at home. Yeah, I I really am to be honest. Uh, I'm very nosy. Did you really see a dragon? Yes, yes. Uh, we uh, we we did see the dragon. Iron boots. Now they're cooking. I can't take the iron armor, but I can take the iron gauntlets. Um, iron sword is nothing special, is it? Um, let's check out the armor sitch. What have we got? Um, currently I'm packing light boots. We've got iron boots. Um, iron gauntlets, obviously better than fur gauntlets. There's only weight to consider, really. Um, silver ring. I think that's only aesthetic. But why not? It suits. It suits my own. Um, Alright, okay. It's a slight improvement. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? I'm not wearing that. Hobbits isn't too friendly to strangers, but you seem alright. <laughs> all right, thank you. You seem all right yourself. <laughs> all right, some hot potatoes. Aye, you can't be going wrong with a good old mashed potato or a potato stew. Hmm. Someday, I'm going to forge my own sword. I am sure you are. Uh, I will uh, just take a little bit of gold and leave the tankard. Um, a little mod gold. Uh, you, Since you I'm can not ready for weapons, so I make lots of horseshoes and hobnails. Uh, that is nice, child. Good luck with that. Mama doesn't think I'm girlish enough. Okay, okay, girl. very nice to talk with I'm you. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Yes, indeed, Hada. Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to White Run, just down the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to solitude. Very well, my friend. So it is farewell. I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. <clears throat> the night has fallen. It is a starry sky. And the moon is very large indeed. It looks like it would have a very, very strong gravitational force upon the planet, and we would probably all get sucked off into space, but we will not worry about the astrological physics of Skyrim. What is this? A hound. Good night, Stump. May I speak with you a while? Yes. I am heading that way. Uh, that is good advice. Walk softly and carry a big gun stump, yes. Okay, very nice to talk with you. Good evening. Not a problem, Shannon. Good luck with the Duolingo. 
You are learning the Hungarian language, I believe, Shannon. Not an easy task. Very beautiful. I do hope there is no danger in these hills. Are you, are, are you danger? You look like danger. You're danger. Yeah, that's that's what happens when danger gets in my way. That's what happens. Press on up the mountain. I do have a Snickers bar in case I get a little hungry. And also a small flask of coffee. Because you never know when you might require a sip of coffee for the spirits. Let us proceed. A perfect place for an ambush, I think. Are you a friend? Are you a friend? Ah, oh, detected. Excellent. But then that means they must be friendly. Because there's no... There's no hostility. Right? No, there's hostility. You bring in the hostility? Is that what you're saying? Eh? You bring in the hostility, aren't you? Alright. I'm firing first. Ask questions later. Good night. Oh, he's got a bow. Send one over your direction. Pin him down. Bit of suppressing fire. Oh, he got me. Cheeky. Have that. Have another then. Come on. See if we can get you in the out. Oh, one for the road. Oh, there's another dude with a cool helmet. Wait, I don't want to drop that guy. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the... Back to the base. Let's hope we just don't get picked off by the archer. Alright, we've got him. He's making fun of my race. Never acceptable. Mr. Archer. There you are. Zip. Oh, that felt well shot. There we go. Check to the king. <sighs> Did this guy have anything interesting? Where is it? What happened to his corpse? What, what happened to him? What? Slid down the hill. Um, okay, I've got to take that, obviously. Um, iron armor is an upgrade. Also, I've got iron boots. Iron sword is nothing interesting. And let's remember to actually equip that stuff. Um, so, 
Imperial light armor I've got. That's 25 armor. Uh, uh, yeah, 25 armor, weight 6. 27, but weight 30. So I think I'm actually better with the light armor. Ah, that's one. I forgot about that, that there's um, armor classes as well. Um, hmm. I wonder if I'm better off with the fur then. Or these Imperial Light Boots, actually. Let's try the light armor instead. Be a bit more sneaksy. Um, I don't think I've got another gauntlet option, though. But I'll go with the helmet. Yeah, so that's 23.8 as opposed to 25.6. It's pretty good, that Imperial stuff, actually. It's not a surprise, really, I suppose. This sort of Roman look. I think the mace is still the best option at the moment. What are you packing? Um, arrows. One, two. Hide armor. Twenty-two five. Not bad. This is a lovely view. Red bandit. Definitely worse places to hang out. <coughs> what we got up here? Anything of note? Oh, I'm just going to get a lovely view. Fair bit of gold. It's worth a climb. Oh, yes. Okay. I think this is all we've got up here. Welcome back, Shannon. Welcome back. You missed a little action, I must say, Shannon. We've been fighting bandits. Oof, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Harvest Snowberry. Oh. How very Swedish sounding. Yeah, you missed some action, Shannon. Uh, we came across a little bandit outpost. They've um, they've taken this little tower here. Um, so we had a little skirmish with three or four enemies there. They all went pretty smooth. I improved my um, archer skills. Like, literally, like, improved. Like, I leveled up some hunting stats. This is quite the, quite the structure. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back in action. There's quite a few enemies around here, aren't there? Three at least. I don't know if blocking that's a good idea, actually. Oh, is that an archer? Two archers? Oh, they've actually... <laughs> That's an unusual archer strategy, rushing me. Good shot in the back. Oh, there you go. Oof. No mercy. Yeah, that's what I said, Claire. I said uh, you are learning the Hungarian language. Um, oh, she's got a hunting bow. So I don't need to steal one. Take the arrows. Um, definitely a bow upgrade. Um, so let's change my favourite. Um, 
Hunt and bow, eight damage. Uh, longbow, seven. I'm in favor. Um, yeah, this iron mace is still the best I've got for close combat. Grilled leaks. Nice. Fair armor, that's pretty cool. Um, what was my armor rating? Is it 25? Uh, what's that? 25, 6. 25, 6. Yeah, so it's just an aesthetic choice. Um... To be fair, I would pro I would prefer the, the fur. Um, let's let's winter up. Gonna have to start dumping some stuff soon. I've got a load of got a load of rubbish. So sort of fur armor, fur boots. Um, yeah, let's go for the light armor instead. Um, fur boots, six. You would think that boots would be more armoured than shoes, I think. But... Oh, it's a different style of fur. Okay, fair enough. Um... And I've still got my iron helmet. Sorry for this terrible scrolling. This mouse is not very good. Um... Oh, hey, Violet Ninja. Gosh, not seen you for a while. How you doing? Nice to see you. Um, <laughs> let me just scroll up the chat a little bit. Uh, ah, nice to see you. Nice to see you. That's cool. How are you doing, Violet? It's been a while. It's been a while. I uh, hope you're doing well. Alright, let me just focus a little bit. Um... All right. So, I've no idea what we're doing in this massive sort of cathedral, but here we are. <laughs> ah, lurk away. You're very welcome to lurk in any stream you wish, Violet. That is a flipping cool lookout spot. I mean, precarious? I think these days your health and safety officer would be asking you to install a handrail, but... Aesthetically, it was very, very nice indeed. Are we popping in here? We can, if we wish. Um, do we actually have a map? I'm press I just pressed M on the off-gens. Um, yeah, fair play. So, I can go into this temple if I wish. Or you can just head for, like, the main objective. I don't know if the enemies here are too strong or if I can handle it. I don't know if it's worth doing. Um, perhaps I should just stick with the... Um, with the main quests. I'll have a little gander as I'm as I'm here. If there's some crazy high level enemies, then I'll be off skis. This could be a bad move. Although there's going to be some nice loot, perhaps steel sword. It's still lower than my mace. Um, that Warhammer's pretty nice. Alright, are we... Okay, so I've started a quest. And the Golden Claw is my objective. And so I'm guessing that these are hostile. You reckon I'll be alright in here, Violet? 
very trusty. I was trying to sneak into that corner. These are hostile, right? Of course they will be. Do you get critical damage at something like that if you get a sneak attack like this? How did that miss her? That is not good. That is not good shooting. What do you do? She still doesn't know where I am, right? Oh, she does. Does the uh, does the eye mean that you've been detected? I guess, as opposed to that little line. Yeah. I'm just what? Can I watch it too? That's gracious. Sneak doesn't give extra. I really, I really hoped it would have some sort of like critical, critical hit or something. Studded light armor, not bad. I would love a weapon upgrade. Sorry about that. And there you go. Lovely timing. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, it's only one point better, isn't it? But one point is a point. Okay, and it looks a lot nicer than that ugly. The ugly old one. Did your screen freeze, Violet? Still looked smooth on, on my end, but... A bit of lockpicking, we've not had this for some time. Shannon's did. Ah, oh, thanks, Violet. Okay, so far so good. Hopefully there's nothing else of value in there. Some sticky sticky. This has got a real zombie vibe. Reminds me of the um, the Barrow in Lord of the Rings. The Barrow Whites. Hmm, hmm. Yeah. Can just be your app or your connection. I don't think I've had any buffering from my end today, actually. Okay. There's obviously going to be. Some nasty pasties down here. You can smell it. And there they are, you see. Um, there they are. Yeah, so this is not going to make any difference, but I'll do it anyway. Come on, lad. What you got? Guys, a pacifist. He really did not. He just didn't want to be there. Hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm not surprised by that, Violet. And I have, I think I've, uh, like I said, I have played this back in 2014. And I probably have been here a long time ago. Like, it, it feels somewhat familiar, but I didn't play a lot of Skyrim. And it was, like I said, six years ago. But I do remember that some of these sorts of uh, dungeons or whatever are pretty cavernous. Um, yeah, okay. I remember this as well. Vaguely. Um, I'm sure this is very simple. 
I'm just stopping that little look. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, so I guess you put serpent, serpent, serpent fish. Looks to me, looks like a serpent, serpent fish situation. Flip the old switch. There you go. Access granted. Read thief. Absolutely going to read some thief. Um, if the reader has not yet had the pleasure of reading the first volume in these series on the life of Eslath Errol, beggar. He should close this book immediately, for I shan't recap. I will tell you this much, gentle reader. When we last saw Eslaf, he was a boy, an orphan, a failed beggar, running through the wild winter woods of Skyrim, away from his home of Erlgard. He continued running, stopping here and there for many more years, until he was a young man. Eslaf discovered that among the ways of getting food, asking for it was the most troublesome. Far easier was finding it in the wilderness, or taking it from unguarded market stalls. The only thing worse than begging to get food was begging for the opportunity to work for the money to buy it. That seemed needlessly complicated. No. As far as Eslaf was concerned, he was best off being a scavenger, a beggar, and a thief. He committed his first act of thievery shortly after leaving Erogard, while in the southern woods of Tamburkar in the rugged land near Mount Jensen, just east of the village of Horbeld. <laughs> Eslaf was starving. Having not eaten anything but a rather scrawny raw squirrel in four days, and he smelled meat cooking and then found the smoke. A band of minstrel pards was making camp. He watched them from the bushes as they cooked, and joked, and flirted, and sang. He could have asked them for some food, but so many others had refused him before. Instead, he rushed out, grabbed a piece of meat from the fire, and wincing from the burns, scrambled up the nearest tree to devour it, while the bard stood under him and laughed. What is your next move, thief? giggled a fair, red-headed woman who was covered with tattoos. How do you intend to disappear without us catching and punishing you? As the hunger subsided, Eslaf realized she was right. The only way to get out in the tree without failing in their midst was to take the branch down to where it hung over a creek. It was a drop off a cliff of about fifty feet. That seemed like the wisest strategy. So Eslaf began scrawling in that direction. Okay, I will read the entire story. I I think it's amazing that they've actually gone to the trouble to write all these books and then this is continued later as well so it's not even just like a a tiny little short story it actually continues as well uh, so I learned some thief skill from reading that book mm, definitely take that lesser soldier um Right, down we go. Um, we go. Oh, hello, little rats. Made me jump. What are you up to? I like how he just cascaded back down the steps. I was not expecting that. Got a, got a ratty jump scare. Ah. Hope he's doing alright. Violet. I hope it's nothing serious. Is 
I have to get to bed soon. It's pretty late. 2.42. But I was up really late last night, so... But, uh, I love how you can just sit on the bench. Just, uh... Just watch the day go by. I mean, it's such a lovely place to relax, obviously. Who, who wouldn't want to just chill out there? Okay, but let's just press on a little bit further. Arvel the Swift. If you've got a nickname, then you obviously mean business. That is very webby. That is very, very webby. Do I have to cut that? That is some serious web. Yeah. S with serious web comes serious spider, right? That's absolutely massive. That is a thing of nightmares. Can I actually survive that? Being poisoned as well. I'm, coming. I'm not taking Sheila on. What is this lad doing? I guess that spider's not gonna leave its lair. Is he scarpered down here? Is it leaving its lair? Is it? Is it following us? Oh, here we go. Some uh, Barrow White action after all. Oh, I'm actually pretty wounded. Oh wow, I was literally... Oh wow, it was a trap. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Definitely clear. That was a massive nope. Um, yeah, I was like literally just gonna open my inventory and try and heal myself. I just got wiped out. Uh, Alright, so the first death has come. I don't have any points to use, right? Yeah, the first... Uh, oh, it's taken me all the way back here. Oh, is there no... Um, I don't know how you save in this game. Oh, you have to do your own little quick saves. Oh. Ah, oh, welcome back, Violet. Yeah, I've had my first death at the hands of a trap. And it's taken me all the way back to the start of the... of the dungeon. Maybe this should maybe this should be my good night point. I really want to like work my way down there again, but maybe maybe this is where I start for today. Maybe I should get myself to bed as it is nearly three in the morning. That's sweet, Viola. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was some sort of um, uh, like auto save or whatever, but only when you enter new uh, areas. So I'm gonna have to redo this bit. So I should have quick saved before I got to She Lob down there. Um, okay, so I'll stop here for today. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so the last auto save was um, back at the entrance of this temple. Um, but it has been very, very nice to spend some. Oh, so I could have leveled up a while ago. When did I get that level up? Oh, goodness me. Alright, but I'll sort this out next time. Must choose. Okay, but yeah, I'll do this next time. 
We have made some progress with Alderwind the Great. I like you've just got to be brave and just throw yourself back into, back into the pool. It's like weirdly, I I get like weirdly nervous playing online against random people, and because you have a you have a rate you have like an online rating level as well, and so you know you lose a game, you lose rating points, and it it, get, it just like makes it even more pressured or whatever. But you have to just chuck yourself in there and and not care and just enjoy it. Hmm. Yeah, do it, Violet. Or just um Um yeah, just download like chess.com app on your on your mobile or whatever and you can play the computer at various difficulties. Um or you can just throw yourself in and play some random people. You know, do it. And it's free. It's completely free. So like you can pay for um uh, extra features and training tools and stuff like that and lessons and la 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 um computer analysis software and things like that but if you download it for free um yeah there's a lot of rubbish apps out there as well unfortunately um but the chess.com one uh that has like a little green chess piece um as its picture or whatever um it's very solid like some people prefer uh lee chess and there's other servers, um, but chess.com, it's really solid, and it's very easy to use, it's free, you know, it's it's a really good place to start, I think. It's it's quite beginner friendly, I think. So. Yeah, it's been very chill, it's been very chill, but I'll get to bed. I'm shattered, to be honest, it's 20 past 3. Ah, oh, no way, that's a shame. I reckon Logan would have liked a bit of Skyrim as well. I feel like it's his cup of tea, maybe. I'll have to ask him on Discord. Uh, but yeah, it's been really nice. I found it very, very relaxing. And it's been, um, it's been fun. Um, like, uh, playing along with uh, Alduin's voice as well. I think that's, that's quite a nice way of doing it, actually. Like, like voicing his uh oh cheers violet that's that's super cool of you thanks ever so much for the bits violet shannon was going absolutely wild with the bits yesterday i don't know what possessed her thank you so much violet so nice to um to chat with you again after a long time um and if you fancy a chat on discord you know get yourself back on there as well like um there's a really nice crowd on Discord at the moment, I think. It's like a... I think it's a very friendly space at the moment. Like, we've we've had um, a few new people joining, and then there's some um, some of the veterans, obviously, like, still hanging out there. Um, so just come and say hello sometime, if you want. <laughs> yeah, she's incredibly kind, is Shannon. She's incredibly kind. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, but just come and say hi sometime. But yeah, it's been really nice. Thanks so much um, again for the bits, Violet. And thanks again yesterday, Shannon, for for those donations. It was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so, 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 so much. Like, saying thank you just doesn't seem to really cut it. But um, yeah, it's been really nice. Um, and it was cool having the premiere for Dracula Chapter 14 over on YouTube as well earlier on. That was cool. So I'm looking forward to the premiere for Chapter 15 of Dracula on Sunday as well. That will be cool. Alright. Must sleep before I just turn into a mush. I'm surprised that I can still chat. I'm that tired. But there you go. <laughs> Alright. Good night, you lot. Really nice to see you. Take care. Time for me to hit the hay as well. Alright. Good night. See you soon. And of course, read to you soon.